Good day, everyone. I'm Xiao Xi. Welcome back to this week's edition of Philip Market Watch. We passed the midway point for 2016. Today, we'll do a recap on the movement for the goal for the past six months and what would have been the factor triggering breaking the 1,300 per ounce price level. From the start of 2017, we have clearly seen a steady uptrend in the gold prices after reaching a low of 1,120 US dollar per ounce in December 2016. Since then, gold prices have been seen gaining momentum, surging strongly against the US dollar. Even though markets have already priced in the fact that US is going to increase interest rates in the year 2017. But the question is, as per our topic for today, will gold prices be able to break past the 1,300 price level? For the past few months, gold prices have been seen hovering within a huge range from 1,002 to 1,300. Gold prices are currently moving in a sideways trend and therefore I would say this is largely due to optimistic market sentiments as investors are leaning towards a risk on sentiment. This can be seen with the major stock indexes attaining record high on a daily basis. Additionally, hawkish comments from the Federal Reserve have also contributed to the fall in gold prices as continuous efforts have undertaken raising interest rates for the year 2017. However, gold prices seem to be supported from falling further even though equities market and US dollar have been strengthening. As President Trump recently was caught up in a political scandal after firing FBI Director James Comey, which eventually resulted in him faces possible impeachment as a president. This scandal will cause uh, investors to be jittery. In addition, the upcoming snap elections in UK that will be happening on June 8 have posed results suggesting that the Conservative Party is under threat as the gaps between both parties are drawing near as a result of such events, gold prices are seen bouncing off from support and resistance cap at price level between 1200 to 1300. Looking forward, do allow me to share my contrarian view on gold prices where I personally think that gold prices will be breaking the 1300 price level, given the fundamentals that I will be sharing on the next few slides. Firstly, the highly debated relationship between President Trump and Russia, any more upheavals in the relationship would have a large impact on beyond the US market. Being the President of the United States, holding a reputable image is definitely important in influencing the global markets. Any further damage in the relationship will further dampen the consumer confidence level towards Donald Trump. Next will be the recent terrorist attacks in London and other major cities. Although this would not have a direct impact on the financial market, I am looking from a longer term perspective as chances are with constant terrorist attacks from an investor point of view, investing in gold will be included in my portfolio because you and I might not know when the terrorists might choose to strike at a financial market and with that a fall in financial market will be inevitable. With the ongoing political tension across Europe, such as the upcoming UK snap elections and German elections, this creates another round of uncertainty towards the financial market as investors will be planning to hedge their risks against these major political impacts. Just like any unexpected results from these upcoming elections, another black swan event may be far off. Lastly, from the table, you can see that major countries' debt to GDP ratio have been reaching record high too. Therefore, the message that I am driving across is that with the continuous rising interest rates, countries will be facing higher debt repayment and as a result, they may not be able to cover their debts with the GDP. And if not, countries will be facing more bad debts, which might result in a financial downfall in the future. While wow, all these factors continue to fuel uncertainty in the markets, investors planning to hedge their risks will be looking at potential safe haven assets with gold being one of the most popular throughout history. This is one of the main reasons why gold thrives during periods of economic and financial uncertainty. From a technical analysis view of gold, we will try to answer the questions in most investors' mind. That is, will gold be able to break the 1,300 price level and when will it happen? Looking at the chart of gold price in USD, if we were able to take the trend line as a support, chances are prices will tend to rebound from support and will move higher. Thus coupled with the fundamentals I mentioned earlier on, we can say that 1,300 price level is not a hard target for the metal to surpass 
and with today's price actions, it's encouraging that prices might move all the way towards the 1,340 US dollar per ounce. And with that, we have come to the end of this edition of Philip Futures Market Watch. Subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Philip Capital Facebook for more information. Thank you for joining me. I'm Xiao Xi and see you in our next edition.